today is a very special thing. I am very excited about going. Today I'm going to go see Jack Septico and you're coming along with me. We're going to go into uh, Manchester, go see some sights um, and just explore a little bit and then we are going to go see the show where I will probably post some parts of it within this video. Um, and you will be seeing it. Oh gosh, you will be seeing it from the weekend after. Um, it is Saturday, November third today, as it's being recorded. Uh, you will probably see, you will see it the Saturday after, because uh, I've got two videos planned. That I want to come beforehand that are Disney related and a Q and A for my hundred subs. So by the time you watch this, you will have already seen those two videos. So come with me and let's have some fun. Uh, today I'm going to be just uh, relaxing until I go. The show is not till 7 p.m. Um, but I will be setting off around about 2 p.m. Uh, just to get into Manchester, go see some sights, get a drink, um, and just relax really. Just have a walk around, do some window shopping maybe. Um, and yeah, um, so until then I'm going to be just doing some daily things that need to be done beforehand. Um, having a shower, shave, getting dressed, sorting my hair out because it's a right mess. Um, and trying to figure out what to wear. Um, I'll let you know in that time uh, what I'm wearing and what I've you know, you can see my hair probably then. You'll probably notice that I will have shaved as well by then. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy this video. I know I'm going to enjoy the experience. And let's get to doing this thing. See you later, guys. Hey, everyone. Well, it's been a little bit of time since you last saw me in the video. It's been about four hours now. So, I have been up. I've got dressed, showered, done my hair, it doesn't really look any different, but it feels different, so that's what's important. Um, I am dressed, I am, uh, did some stuff that needed to be done for the day, still got a little bit of things left to do, and I've got something that I don't know what it is, but, uh, yeah, so, done the majority of what I need to do, just a couple more things to go before we head off, it is currently, uh, oh, let me check what time it is. It's not showing up. Uh, I think it's around about 12-ish. Um, half past 12-ish my time, so during the day. So I'm going to be heading off about 2-ish. You're going to come with me a little bit for that. Go see some things. I'm going to have a walk around Manchester and enjoy myself as best I can. Um, maybe I'll throw in some fashion in this. I have got a blazer on, uh, a shirt, some pants, uh, converse. That is uh, custom made, my name on the back, made for Pride last year, hoping you can see that. Um, if not, I'll probably just insert some pictures of them, because my Cameron ship is a bit shoddy, no doubt. Um, and I am also wearing a Deathly Hallows uh, necklace, if you can see that. Um, again, I'll just put some pictures in. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to go, I'm excited. And I will see you when we are ready to go. Bye for now. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update. Um, not used to doing this outside, so I don't know how this is going to sound. So if you can't hear me, I apologise. Um, but I'm on the way now to the Metrolink, which is a transport kind of thing that you can use to get places. Quite handy. Um, so I'm heading down to the nearest one now. Um, to head into Manchester and we have a thing over here that I just wanted to show you as well since it is uh, November here many things have changed and in the rules of Disney um, November the 1st is the start of Christmas prove me wrong um, but this garden centre here that I uh, live near have the same kind of idea so, okay so this garden centre here is starting Christmas now and the Christmas Wonderland is now open so I might go check that out in 
a uh, few days maybe. Take you along with me, I'm not too sure yet, we will figure that out. Um, but yes, Christmas is coming. So that is kind of just an update on, it looks like I'm walking through fields and I kind of am actually, so there's not much around here, you've got the garden centre and then that's pretty much it, some houses, some uh, industrial estates, mainly fields and things, but it's nice, it's nice and quiet, nice uh, place to live. Um, lots of traffic on this road that we're on, so again, if you can't hear me, I apologise, I will try my best to speak up a little bit. Um, I think that'll be the last update now until we get into Manchester. Um, because there's not much to see really on the track, it's kind of just housing and that kind of stuff. I'm sure you don't want to see houses and things. Um, so with that being said, I will see you in Manchester. Okay, so I've been in Manchester for about an hour now. Um, the trams were down, so we had to get a replacement bus, so that's not a, not a big deal. Um, so I got a family of Victoria, which is home of Printworks and our Hard Rock Cafe here in Manchester place to get a bite to eat and uh, a drink as well so I went for a JD and Coke as you do um, and I went into the Arndale for a little bit and um, always stop by in the Disney store for a little look-see and I'll put some pictures in here that I took um, and Christmas is starting officially now in the Disney store, so they're all in sync with that. And then, not much really, I'm just having a walk around, uh, seeing what's going on in the centre. Probably explore something new, as you always do as you're exploring. Um, so, yeah, not too sure where I'm heading at the moment. Um, I did come out of the Arndale about five minutes ago. Um, I'm just taking a walk around, really. Um, and that behind me is just beautiful, look at that. Skyscrapers around here are gorgeous. Um, especially when it's all lit up, lit up at night time. Absolutely fantastic to watch and see. Uh, I think I'm heading down into the entrance of Manchester now. Um, so yeah, pretty much nothing going on at the moment. Like I said, I'm just walking around, killing some time until we go and head towards the Apollo. Um, which will probably be in about an hour or so. Um, take some transport there, maybe take a walk there, not too sure yet. Uh, ready for the show at 7. Super excited. Can't wait to go and see my boy Jack. Um, absolutely amazing guy. Um, hilarious to watch on his channel. I'm sure you all know who Jack Sets Guy is if you're watching YouTube. Um, so, yeah, with that, pretty much summing up what I've done at the moment. Oh, one other thing, I did try, uh, I did get a bite to eat, um, I didn't take any pictures because I was starving, I haven't had anything to eat all day. Um, I got the Subway loaded wrap, the Chipotle steak and cheese uh, with guac and lettuce, tomatoes and peppers and that was, that was delish, it really was. Been wanting to try that for a while. Um, so yeah, pretty much. All I've done so far, the, the travel itself took about an hour. Um, so it is now around about quarter to four-ish time now. So things will be starting to go dark soon. So I'm not sure how that will affect the overall recording of stuff. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So you have seen my little adventure. Or, well, my little walking thing through Manchester that I am not so very good at, but I will get better over time. Practice makes perfect. Try to see my first ever video. You you, you can't anymore, it's gone. But it was awful. It was all tinny and yucky and now I have this thing which I am in love with. This is this is my baby right here. I'm so proud I finally got one. Thank you, world. Anyway, with that being said, I do want to apologise before we get to the spoiler review. There will be a screen. I will let you know of that in a moment. But unfortunately, I cannot show you any footage from the How Did We Get Here tour. Simply because my phone died. It died about five minutes into the show. Tried to take a picture and it was gone. I had enough battery life on my phone 
to actually get into the event. And ow, that really hurt. I had a cat. Oh, that hurt. Anyway, that is going to be edited out. Maybe not. Probably. Yes, it will. So, yeah, that is. My phone died. So, I am sorry. I apologize. But there will be a spoiler review starting right now after this screen. So, if you do not want to know what happened at this show, please turn off this video now. But be sure to give it a like. And be sure to, you know, thanks for watching. But if you want to see or want to hear what this show had to offer and my personal thoughts on it and what could have been added to make it a hell of a lot better, which no doubt it wasn't it wasn't in any way bad. It was a it was it was awesome. It was so good. Um feel free to carry on watching after this screen and we will get down to it. I will explain my favourite parts and pretty much like my yeah, it's pretty much my favourite parts. Not really a spoiler review. Well it is really. It's a spoiler review from my favourite parts. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get onto it after the screen. Okay, so now the screen is done. You lovely people who do not want to know what is going on have no longer been a part of this video. But you people who want to know are you people who have been as lucky as me to go and want to just to try and experience it again the best we can is by far right now. So it starts off, and this is my first favourite part, it starts off with Vernon from the Game Grumps coming out and selecting someone from the audience to play Super Mario Brothers on the Super Nintendo. Now, easy enough, right? Two things. It was played on an Xbox controller and the member of the audience was blindfolded. We had to say in unison, we tell him when to jump, and oh my gosh, that was, it was pretty hard, not going to lie. I uh, I thought I was saying jump at the right times, clearly wasn't. So, us audience had to blame because he died quite a lot of times. It took him three turns until eventually he got through it so fast that it was pretty much a speed run of the first level. All jokes aside, it was Vern. Vern, Vern did it. He 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 was he, he, he's fast. He's good at games. Yeah. So anyway, with that being said, it is then Vern goes off. The the chair goes off. The audience member goes back to his seat in the audience, and the pad goes away. Then. We see a little sneak peek of our Jacker boy coming in and off the stage, getting ready, pumping himself up, I, I assume. And then a screen, the screen comes on, and he is basically, you know, saying that we are here for him. Uh, well, I want to say we're here for him. He says, you know, he introduces himself, and what are we doing here? And he looks on how to perform in front of a live audience and he just gives us direct eye contact and it was pretty pretty intense eye contact I mean he was literally like pretty much like that the the, the whole time so uh, that lasted a that lasted a good three four minutes again another one of my favorite parts and then the big man himself the one and only Jack Setsukai comes out onto stage we all cheer our little bottoms off and we thoroughly enjoy ourselves from straight off the bat. He says, you've seen me through a screen for so many years. I've never got to see you guys. So you have five minutes to take pictures and to take a little video snippet. And then I want all of your phones away. So saying that, I did try to take pictures, but the flash wasn't working. So they are shockingly bad. I am 
I can't even show them yet. I am disappointed. I'm a fairly good photographer. If you want to see my photography skills, uh, no uh, self comfort, no uh, self uh, promoting here. But feel free to join and follow my Instagram. The link is down below. It's uh, recently been changed to Zach Does Things. All one word. Feel free to go check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, back to the Jacksepticeye thing. He comes out. We take pictures. Everyone takes pictures. Take a little bit of a photo. He gets into some poses. A rock star pose. A thinker pose. A sexy pose. And then the show begins. He tells us where he grew up in a small town of 600 people in Ireland. I think it was called... I think it was called... Got... Gon, got, got. I can't even pronounce it. Golnuk, Golnuk, or something. I don't know. It sounds like an old man sneezing. That, that's that's all I got. But then he brings out some uh, another member uh, member of the audience, and when the show starts to get on a bit, and the first game they play is Pokemon. Now I'm not too sure on all the games. I can't really remember it. I know the f I know one of them was Pokemon. One of them was Happy Wheels. Um, what were the other two? I can't think. Yeah, I can't think. Um, I can't think what the other two were. Um, but nevertheless. Those two were my favourite moments anyway, so I'll be talking about them. So, Pokemon, um, he brought out a little, he brought out an audience member, and they got to sit on his famous green and black uh, DX racer chair that he has in many videos nowadays. Pretty much, well, he has them in all of his videos nowadays. That's his, that's his chair. Um, you know, he takes it, you know, he, he's got it there for him. Um, and he and this little boy played Pokemon and played against Light Battle of Debt, uh, of not Debt, yeah, Debt was uh, not Debt was not Debt wasn't one. Rent was one of them. That was the last one. Uh, fear, doubt, anxiety, um, and there, there was a couple of others. All the all the bad things that people face in life. This little audience member broke it. He 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 won. Fair and square. He he really did. He was a trooper, and he was awesome. Um, so that was the first part that I really really loved. The fact that the audience got to be involved. It wasn't just a sit down show. Everyone got to be involved in it, and it was so so cool. It really really was. About halfway through the show, this this is my favourite bit. I love this bit. I'm going to tell you now. Now, I was sat on the on the what we call the Apollo, the circle. It's basically the upper deck of the Apollo Theatre where I went to see him in Manchester. Um, so yeah, I got to sit there. I was slap bang in the middle. My ticket number was O twenty four. Um, it was so damn good. Um. Great view. I was slap bang in the middle. I could see the stage. I could see everything around me. It was the perfect spot. It really, really was. I had someone here, two people here. I had enough space for myself and people beside me. It was great. It was, it was fantastic. But my favourite part of all of this had to be the moment when Jack shouted up. Is everyone alive up there? Everyone shouted yeah. I shouted no. And he went, that's a bit firm, isn't it? That was my favourite moment. He responded to my response and oh my gosh, I got starstruck the rest of the time I was there. It was just so, so cool. It really, really was. I loved it. Um... On to my next favourite part, which had to be, it was, well, it was, it was the ending. The ending of it was the Happy Wheels moment. He brought up uh, three chill, uh, three volunteers, 
uh, from the audience. All of them were children, because there were quite a few children there, because obviously, you know, as YouTubers, that's mainly your audience nowadays. So, hello children. If you were at the Jack Jacksepticeye um, show, please let me know. Uh, if any of you were at the Jack Jacksepticeye show, please let me know. I would love to hear from you and see if we, you know, saw each other in the queue or what have you. be pretty cool. Um, but anyway, back to it. They all played Happy Wheels and they had a great time. Now, Happy Wheels, if you do not know and you are not a Jack Jacksepticeye fan, Happy Wheels was his longest running playlist, uh, played game that he's played with, 100 episodes. And was really the one that put him on the map after the shout out from PewDiePie. Um, that was the one that really, really took his channel off. And that was his kind of game, his kind of humour. And that's where the song All The Way basically comes from. From snippets of that game and uh, another one called Papers Please. Which we didn't get to see but if you want to go and check it out, go check Jack's channel out. It's all on there. Great, great content. Little Potato Man. He was always his favourite, and he got shot. <laughs> if you want, if you listen to All the Way, you'll know. By the way, if you want to listen to All the Way on Spotify, it is on there. It's also on my playlist, so if you want to go and check it out, it's in the description down below, along with my Discord server as well. Feel free to go and check that out. Anyway, back to this. Um, I have to say, it was amazing. The sheer Share compliments that Jack gave his audience. He basically said, This is why it's called How Did We Get Here? Because without you guys and everyone who isn't here, all 20 million of you people, I wouldn't be here today. You, I, you wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. This tour wouldn't exist. My channel wouldn't be as big as it is because of XYZ. And it was. He was just so down to earth and he just, he said it's all down to us. And as a YouTube creator myself and as a you, 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 YouTuber, uh, yeah, it, inverted, inverted commas, um, as a YouTuber, I can see that. I, I really, really can because every single one of you people, uh, even that support my channel, um, are just fantastic and Without you guys, I th this video wouldn't exist. This channel probably wouldn't exist anymore. I probably just would have given up with it. It's the whole fact that you guys keep us creators going. And likewise, vice versa. We keep you going with new content. So long as you are always uh, consistent with watching I suppose so long as we are consistent with uploads this is why my videos are Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays so I can give you the best content I can this video alone again with the Typhoon Lagoon one it took me four times to do this because I wanted it to be just right and that's why I've reached over a hundred subscribers because of you guys because it's your love and that's basically what Jack was saying. He's saying that <clears throat> excuse me. He's saying that everybody's support is so welcoming and heartwarming that he is so genuine with what he was saying at the end of the show and all the way through the show in fact. And of course it was a scripted show. He's done the same thing many a times in many a different places, but I don't think his gen his generosity and his 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 heart warming heart warming heart heart I can't even say the word heart warmness heart warm that's not the word is it his 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 kindness and support it didn't change through the shows it never will do because Jack's not that person he doesn't let all of that get to him he does it. Because he loves it. He doesn't do it for the money. He does it because he enjoys it. He does it because he loves it. And this is why us YouTubers do this. Because we do it because we love it. We do. We, we find a way to find passion and love in something that we do again. I explained in my Q&A that due to illness I lost my job through 
unknown for unknown reasons to you at the moment, which I'll maybe I'll go through that at some point. Maybe that might be a video at some point, just so you're all on the same page. Um, but you know, I have a condition called fibromyalgia. It doesn't affect me physically, but emotionally it does, and my anxiety can get really bad. And that was a big step for me going to see Jack. It, it felt nice. It felt normal to be around people who were like me, who enjoy the same things as me. Because it's hard for me to find people that enjoy the same things as me. Being a huge Disney fan, I've found so many great people who are supporting me. And I'm supporting them back as YouTube creators. And through watching Jack, I saw some very awesome people at the at the show, and it was great. I I loved every moment of it. I really did. And if I could do it again, and he was to go on tour again, then I most definitely would do. Um, I'm hoping to see Mark apply if his tour comes over here. That'd be another thing I'd like to do. Um, well, that's pretty much all I've got for for this video. Just a spoiler review of my favourite parts, and now, uh, actually, now it's time to say, not make it better, but they could have had all the way. Dude's a beast, by far. Those two songs are fantastic. I love them. Great songs. Feel free to go check them out. They're on YouTube. They're on Jack's channel. They're on Spotify. They're on my playlist. <clears throat> go and check them out if you're into that kind of thing. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video that's not Disney gaming or music related. I hope to do some more of these as I work myself to go out a little bit more. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed doing the vlog. I enjoyed doing the spoiler review. I thoroughly enjoyed the show. So if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you went to see Jack Jacksepticeye in any of the places where he was I would love to know and if you did what was your favorite part or if you didn't well, just let me know down in the comments if you watch Jacksepticeye or if you know of him or if you don't feel free to go check him out I highly recommend him as a let's player um, but like I say that's all I've got time for so be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already by pressing that big shiny red button and press that little dingling bell so you can stay up to date with all my new videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. And until the next video, ladies and gentlemen, stay classy YouTube.